One of my favourite quotes of all time comes from a civil rights activist called Oliver Wendell Holmes. And he said, a man's mind, once stretched by a new idea, never regains its original dimensions. Scotland's mind has been stretched beyond all recognition by this campaign. We've talked about things we never talked about before. We've behaved and organised and functioned in ways that I've never seen before. This mass campaign, which has encompassed everything from the centre right to the hard left, um, it hasn't fallen out, it's been open, it's been participatory, nobody's coordinated it from the middle, nobody's organised it. We've created a, a kind of, what we've been trying to work on is a, is a political movement, an idea, which is about um, creating a vision, a, a, a kind of collective and unified vision for how you change society, how you change politics, how you get real change. One of the problems that I've found with modern politics is that you have a kind of scaredy professional political class who kind of shun and are worried about and nervous about creativity and imagination and ideas. What we've been trying to do with this is on the one hand create a solid policy programme that actually works, that actually um, is, is, is a realistic way of transforming society, but at the same time saying nobody's got all the answers and the way that you create more answers and more thinking is to open up creativity and imagination and ideas and not close it down just in case something goes wrong or it's embarrassing. So what we wanted to do today was create a day for people to come and hear both hard policy and have fun and talk to each other, be inspired, be creative. It, is, it seems impossible to me that Scotland can never go back to being what it was before. The idea that we'll go back to being a passive nation of people who sit around and wait to be told what to do by one of two tribal political outfits. I, I can't see that ever returning. I can't see it being like this. This has changed Scotland utterly, utterly and fundamentally, um, and for the better. It's wonderful that ordinary people feel that they have a role in shaping their country and deciding it. Nothing's better than that. The volume of quality that we've got in the art sector, the, the comedians that we can bring in, the, the policy thinking, the artistics, the musicians, the volunteers. The buzz is so strong that, to be quite honest, there can't be a better place in the world to be just now than Scotland. Do you know, there's this, there's this thing happening. And when you put on an event like this, you can just, you're knocked down with talent and want to contribute, it's amazing. I think it's an interesting, an interesting project, you know, it seems to be quite a, a kind of left, left leaning project. It has quite a diverse sort of smattering of left wing opinions within it, so I think it's quite a good thing. I think there's maybe something from that that could come out and it's, as well as the radical independence movement and almost an electoral front. change everything absolutely radically overnight but I think what it has done, even the, the people who have been radicalised by it, it gives us a huge opportunity uh, to do things like roll back some of the trade union laws, get rid of the trident, the breakup of the British state, I think is a hugely important, important thing, you know, and don't underestimate how, the impact that that will have. I'm making a drawing of 307 ballot boxes, um, which symbolises from 1707, the Act of Union, right up to 2014, gives us 307 years, so I'm making a, a drawing of a ballot box for each year um, to symbolise that democratic deficit that we're hopefully going to put right in September. When we started, all we wanted to do was to say we've been so overwhelmed by one political philosophy, the neoliberal conflict philosophy, with the Tory version, with the Thatcher version, then with the John Major warm beer version, then with the Tony Blair version, um, then we've got the Cameron version. At first all we wanted to do was set up a contest, a contest and debate. You can have this, or you could have this. So that was where we started from. But, my God, the enthusiasm and the interest and the volume of people who want to be involved with this is enormous. And it's turned into, I think, the major contender for shaping Scotland's future. I think it describes what people say they want. I think it describes a more equal, more prosperous, fairer, better society with strong public services and a sort of sense of justice that people say they want. I want Scotland to spend its last two months looking at itself and answering a question. 
Some of you are British nationalists. You like flags, you like queens, you like nuclear submarines. You like that stuff. I understand. That's fine. You're going to vote no and that's okay. Everybody else, we've got to get ourselves focused on one question. Are you fear or are you ready? The vast majority of people want change. A lot of them are not sure, because of this massive fear campaign, are not sure if it's safe to look for change by going on their own. And there are a bunch of people who know that it's the only way we're going to get change. I mean, Scotland's going to have a real problem if it's a no vote. We're going to have bottled it. And we're going to know we've bottled it. And we can all walk up it and stride as if it was a positive vote for our future. But we are going to know it wasn't. And those South of England MPs who'd like to take some of Scotland's funding away, they're going to know we've bottled it. I genuinely worry. The only thing I can say is that if, we, if there was a no vote, we're going to know what we did. We're going to know it was a mistake. And the five years we're about to go through is going to clarify that in the head of anybody who doesn't already know it. Um, I don't think we would be five years away from another vote, to be honest with you. I have no qualms in saying it's the best thing I've ever been involved in my life. By a long, long way, nothing has, has been so big, so inclusive, so inspirational, so lively, so creative, so diverse, and bluntly, mostly, so tolerant. We don't all agree with everything that we all say, and yet there's an amazing solidarity. It's been, a, it's been an absolutely wonderful experience.